In chemistry, orbital hybridization or hybridization is the concept of mixing atomic orbitals into new hybrid orbitals with different energies, shapes, etc. than the component atomic orbitals suitable for the pairing of electrons to form chemical bonds in valence bond theory. Hybrid orbitals are very useful in the explanation of molecular geometry and atomic bonding properties and are symmetrically disposed in space. Although sometimes taught together with the valence shell electron pair repulsion VSEPR theory, valence bond and hybridization are in fact not related to the VSEPR model. History Chemist Linus Pauling first developed the hybridization theory in 1931 to explain the structure of simple molecules such as methane CH4 using atomic orbitals. Pauling pointed out that a carbon atom forms four bonds by using 1s and 3p orbitals, so that it might be inferred that a carbon atom would form three bonds at right angles using p orbitals and a fourth weaker bond using the s orbital in some arbitrary direction. In reality, methane has four bonds of equivalent strength separated by the tetrahedral bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Pauling explained this by supposing that in the presence of four hydrogen atoms, the s and p orbitals form four equivalent combinations or hybrid orbitals, each denoted by sp3 to indicate its composition, which are directed along the four CH bonds. This concept was developed for such simple chemical systems, but the approach was later applied more widely, and today it is considered an effective heuristic for rationalizing the structures of organic compounds. It gives a simple orbital picture equivalent to Lewis structures. Hybridization theory finds its use mainly in organic chemistry, one of the most compelling examples being Baldwin's rules. Topic: <laughs> Atomic orbitals. Orbitals are a model representation of the behavior of electrons within molecules. In the case of simple hybridization, this approximation is based on atomic orbitals, similar to those obtained for the hydrogen atom, the only neutral atom for which the Schrödinger equation can be solved exactly. In heavier atoms, such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, the atomic orbitals used are the 2s and 2p orbitals, similar to excited state orbitals for hydrogen. Topic. Overview Hybrid orbitals are assumed to be mixtures of atomic orbitals, superimposed on each other in various proportions. For example, in methane, the C-hybrid orbital which forms each carbon-hydrogen bond consists of 25% S-character and 75% P-character and is thus described as sp3, read as sp3 hybridized. Quantum mechanics describes this hybrid as an sp3 wave function of the form n s plus square root 3 p sigma, where n is a normalization constant here one half, and p sigma is a p orbital directed along the ch axis to form a sigma bond. The ratio of coefficients denoted lambda in general is square root 3 in this example. Since the electron density associated with an orbital is proportional to the square of the wave function, the ratio of p character to s character is lambda 2. Topic. 3. The p character or the weight of the p component is n2 lambda 2. 3 quarters. The amount of p character or s character, which is decided mainly by orbital hybridization, can be used to reliably predict molecular properties such as acidity or basicity. Topic. Two possible representations. Molecules with multiple bonds or multiple lone pairs can have orbitals represented in terms of sigma and pi symmetry or equivalent orbitals. Different valence bond methods use either of the two representations, which have mathematically equivalent total many electron wave functions and are related by a unitary transformation of the set of occupied molecular orbitals. For multiple bonds, the sigma pi representation is the predominant one compared to the equivalent orbital bent bond representation. In contrast, for multiple lone pairs, most textbooks use the equivalent orbital representation. 
However, the sigma pi representation is also used, such as by Weinhold and Landis within the context of natural bond orbitals, a localized orbital theory containing modernized analogues of classical valence bond Lewis structure bonding pairs and lone pairs. For the hydrogen fluoride molecule, for example, two F lone pairs are essentially unhybridized p orbitals, while the other is an spx hydride orbital. An analogous consideration applies to water one O lone pair is in a pure p orbital, another is in an spx hybrid orbital. <laughs> Topic. Types of hybridization Topic. SP3 Hybridization describes the bonding atoms from an atom's point of view. For a tetrahedrally coordinated carbon e.g., methane CH4, the carbon should have four orbitals with the correct symmetry to bond to the four hydrogen atoms. Carbon's ground state configuration is 1s 2 2s 2 2 p 2 or more easily read. The carbon atom can use its two singly occupied p-type orbitals, to form two covalent bonds with two hydrogen atoms, yielding the singlet methylene CH2, the simplest carbene. The carbon atom can also bond to four hydrogen atoms by an excitation or promotion of an electron from the doubly occupied 2s orbital to the empty 2p orbital, producing four singly occupied orbitals. The energy released by formation of two additional bonds more than compensates for the excitation energy required, energetically favoring the formation of four CH bonds. Quantum mechanically, the lowest energy is obtained if the four bonds are equivalent, which requires that they are formed from equivalent orbitals on the carbon. A set of four equivalent orbitals can be obtained that are linear combinations of the valence shell core orbitals are almost never involved in bonding S and P wave functions, which are the four sp3 hybrids. In CH4, four sp3 hybrid orbitals are overlapped by hydrogen 1's orbitals, yielding four sigma, sigma bonds, that is, four single covalent bonds of equal length and strength. Translates into topic sp2. Other carbon compounds and other molecules may be explained in a similar way. For example, ethene C2H4 has a double bond between the carbons. For this molecule, carbon sp2 hybridizes, because one pi, pi bond is required for the double bond between the carbons and only three sigma bonds are formed per carbon atom. In sp2 hybridization the 2's orbital is mixed with only two of the three available 2p orbitals, forming a total of three sp2 orbitals with one remaining p orbital. In ethylene, ethene, the two carbon atoms form a sigma bond by overlapping one sp2 orbital from each carbon atom. The pi bond between the carbon atoms perpendicular to the molecular plane is formed by 2p2p overlap. Each carbon atom forms covalent CH bonds with two hydrogens by ssp2 overlap, all with 120 degrees bond angles. The hydrogen carbon bonds are all of equal strength and length, in agreement with experimental data. Topic. SP The chemical bonding in compounds such as alkenes with triple bonds is explained by SP hybridization. In this model, the 2's orbital is mixed with only one of the 3 p orbitals, resulting in 2 sp orbitals and 2 remaining p orbitals. The chemical bonding in acetylene ethine C2H2 consists of SPSP -SP overlap between the two carbon atoms forming a sigma bond and two additional pi bonds formed by PP overlap. Each carbon also bonds to hydrogen in a sigma SSP overlap at 180 degrees angles. Topic: <laughs> Hybridization and molecule shape. Hybridization helps to explain molecule shape, since the angles between bonds are approximately equal to the angles between hybrid orbitals, as explained above for the tetrahedral geometry of methane. As another example, the three sp2 hybrid orbitals are at angles of 120 degrees to each other, so this hybridization favors trigonal planar molecular geometry with bond angles of 120 degrees. Other examples are given in the table below. For two equivalent SPX hybrids, the bond angle between them is given by theta equals arcos 
minus 1 x display style theta equals r cos frac 1 x while for two equivalent sdx hybrids the bond angle between them is given by theta equals r cos plus or minus 1 3 1 minus 2 x Display style theta equals r cos left pm sqrt frac 1 3 1 frac 2 x right. There are no shapes with ideal bond angles corresponding to SD4 hybridization as there is no regular 10 vertex polyhedron. Nonetheless, molecules such as TAR CH3 5 with SD4 hybridization adopt a square pyramidal shape. Topic. Hybridization of hypervalent molecules Topic. Valence shell expansion Hybridization is often presented for main group AX5 and above, as well as for many transition metal complexes, using the hybridization scheme first proposed by Pauling. In this notation, d orbitals of main group atoms are listed after the s and p orbitals since they have the same principal quantum number n, while d orbitals of transition metals are listed first since the s and p orbitals have a higher n. Thus for AX6 molecules, sp3d2 hybridization in the s atom involves 3s, 3p and 3d orbitals, while d2 sp3 for mo involves 4d, 5s and 5p orbitals. Topic. Contrary evidence In 1990, Magnuson published a seminal work definitively excluding the role of d-orbital hybridization in bonding in hypervalent compounds of second row period three elements, ending a point of contention and confusion. Part of the confusion originates from the fact that d-functions are essential in the basis sets used to describe these compounds or else unreasonably high energies and distorted geometries result. Also, the contribution of the d-function to the molecular wavefunction is large. These facts were incorrectly interpreted to mean that d-orbitals must be involved in bonding. For transition metal centers, the d and s orbitals are the primary valence orbitals, which are only weakly supplemented by the p-orbitals. The question of whether the p-orbitals actually participate in bonding has not been definitively resolved, but all studies indicate they play a minor role. Topic. Resonance In light of computational chemistry, a better treatment would be to invoke sigma bond resonance in addition to hybridization, which implies that each resonance structure has its own hybridization scheme. For main group compounds, all resonance structures must obey the octet eight electron rule. For transition metal compounds, the resonance structures that obey the duodectet 12 electron rule suffice to describe bonding, with optional inclusion of DMSPN resonance structures. Topic. Isovalent hybridization Although ideal hybrid orbitals can be useful, in reality most bonds require orbitals of intermediate character. This requires an extension to include flexible weightings of atomic orbitals of each type, s, p, d, and allows for a quantitative depiction of bond formation when the molecular geometry deviates from ideal bond angles. The amount of p character is not restricted to integer values, i.e., hybridizations like sp2.5 are also readily described. The hybridization of bond orbitals is determined by Bent's rule. Atomic S character concentrates in orbitals directed towards electropositive substituents. Topic: Molecules with lone pairs. For molecules with lone pairs, the bonding orbitals are isovalent SpX hybrids. For example, the two bond forming hybrid orbitals of oxygen in water can be described as sp4 to give the interorbital angle of 104.5 degrees. This means that they have 20% s character and 80% p character and does not imply that a hybrid orbital is formed from 1s and 4p orbitals on oxygen since the 2p subshell of oxygen only contains 3p orbitals. The shapes of molecules with lone pairs are 
trigonal pyramidal greater than 90 degrees 3 spx bond hybrids eg nh3 bent greater than 90 degrees 2 spx bond hybrids eg so2 h2 or in such cases there are two mathematically equivalent ways of representing lone pairs they can be represented by orbitals of sigma and pi symmetry similar to molecular orbital theory or by equivalent orbitals similar to VSEPR theory. Topic: <laughs> Hypervalent molecules. For hypervalent molecules with lone pairs, the bonding scheme can be split into a hypervalent component and a component consisting of isovalent spx bond hybrids. The hypervalent component consists of resonating bonds using p orbitals. The table below shows how each shape is related to the two components and their respective descriptions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hybridization defects. Hybridization of s and p orbitals to form effective spx hybrids requires that they have comparable radial extent. While 2p orbitals are on average less than 10% larger than 2s, in part attributable to the lack of a radial node in 2p orbitals, 3p orbitals which have one radial node, exceed the 3s orbitals by 20-33%. The difference in extent of s and p orbitals increases further down a group. The hybridization of atoms in chemical bonds can be analyzed by considering localized molecular orbitals, for example using natural localized molecular orbitals in a natural bond orbital NBO scheme. In methane, CH4, the calculated P-S ratio is approximately 3 consistent with ideal sp3 hybridization, whereas for silane, silicon hydride, the P-S ratio is closer to 2. A similar trend is seen for the other 2p elements. Substitution of fluorine for hydrogen further decreases the p-s ratio. The 2p elements exhibit near-ideal hybridization with orthogonal hybrid orbitals. For heavier p-block elements this assumption of orthogonality cannot be justified. These deviations from the ideal hybridization were termed hybridization defects by Kutzenig. Photoelectron <laughs> spectra. <laughs> 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 One misconception concerning orbital hybridization is that it incorrectly predicts the ultraviolet photoelectron spectra of many molecules. While this is true if Koopman's theorem is applied to localized hybrids, quantum mechanics requires that the in this case ionized wavefunction obey the symmetry of the molecule which implies resonance in valence bond theory. For example, in methane, the ionized states CH4+ can be constructed out of four resonance structures attributing the ejected electron to each of the four sp3 orbitals. A linear combination of these four structures, conserving the number of structures, leads to a triply degenerate T2 state and a A1 state. The difference in energy between each ionized state and the ground state would be an ionization energy, which yields two values in agreement with experiment. Topic. Hybridization theory versus molecular orbital theory Hybridization theory is an integral part of organic chemistry and in general discussed together with molecular orbital theory. For drawing reaction mechanisms sometimes a classical bonding picture is needed with two atoms sharing two electrons. Predicting bond angles in methane with MO theory is not straightforward. Hybridization theory explains bonding in alkenes and methane. Bonding orbitals formed from hybrid atomic orbitals may be considered as localized molecular orbitals, which can be formed from the delocalized orbitals of molecular orbital theory by an appropriate mathematical transformation. For molecules with a closed electron shell in the ground state, this transformation of the orbitals leaves the total many electron wave function unchanged. The hybrid orbital description of the ground state is therefore equivalent to the delocalized orbital description for ground state total energy and electron density, as well as the molecular geometry that corresponds to the minimum total energy value. See also Bent's rule effect of ligand electronegativity Linear combination of atomic orbitals molecular orbital method MO diagrams Ligand field theory Crystal field theory 
isovalent hybridization. <laughs>